You guys aren't going to wear those things tonight, are you? Oh, yes, we are. Yeah. Really? We're representing our people, the Palestinian good. people. We're in Orange County. So, oh, you think I should wear the black one? He should wear the no, red man. one? Take him no, man, take them off. Oh, we don't have a country. Let us have a country. Oh, wait, we're not going to do that. No, no, no. I'm not going to do something. All right, look, look, look. Let's settle it how we always settle it. Bring these Hamas Take them all. Oh, no. You're a loser. You're a loser. Take off. Maz Jabrani. Ahmed Amun. Aaron With Dean Abadola. It's the Axis of Evil Comedy Tour. Hold it. What is your name? Obidala. Obidala? What that mean? Uh, peaceful, friendly Arab? You don't look like no Arabic. Go on, fool. He's clear. From the eastern part of Palestine, Dean Abadala. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the Axis of Evil. Let me ask, how many people have a Middle Eastern heritage here tonight in our town? It's great to see so many Middle Eastern people coming together in one place voluntarily. <laughs> really. We want to thank everyone who's come out to support us. The, the Iranians slash Persians, Arabs, white people, FBI, ATF, Homeland Security. Homeland Security. The cameras are for Comedy Central. It's a big sting operation. Thanks for being a part of it. And we got you. So I just flew in from New York yesterday for this show. I'm so happy to be here. It's the first time, though, I had to go through the new security screening. We have to put all your liquids in a little plastic bag. I'm sure people have been through this now. Because terrorists allegedly are going to mix fluids together on the plane and build a bomb. Let me ask this. Don't you think you'd get a little bit suspicious if you're sitting on the plane and... You look next to you, the guy's got 10 bottles with different fluids on his tray table. He's got goggles on and gloves and a, a Bunsen burner. He keeps pouring and closing his eyes. Then he looks at you, he's like, do you have any lemon juice or uh, turpentine or something? Whenever you hear these plots, you know as a Middle Easterner it's going to make your life more difficult, isn't it? I mean, I think more people would rather fly with snakes on the plane than Middle Eastern people at this point. <laughs> but to keep us safe, we've got a thing called the Patriot Act. Everyone's heard of the Patriot Act? Remember we had a thing called Freedoms at one point? <laughs> now we have the Patriot Act. You know what's amazing? Like, and I've got to say this honestly. As someone of Middle Eastern heritage, it's really important we catch terrorists as Americans. And also it makes our lives obviously so much more difficult if someone's Middle Eastern does something. But do you guys know, under the Patriot Act, any book you take out of any public library, the government can find out the name of that book? Do you actually think guys in Al-Qaeda are going to public libraries and taking books out? Are they going, okay, we've been planning this for years, but we need a book. <laughs> and, uh... And we're like $30 over budget, okay? It's me, I had an impulse buy, okay. Omar, will you go to the library and try not to look suspicious? And he walks in, he goes, hello, Miss Librarian, how are you? I was looking for a book for me and the guys in our club. <laughs> do you have a book on how do you say waging a jihad against the infidel dog? Is there, is there a holy war section out here someplace? Honestly, do you really think there are books in the library titles that would give guys in Al-Qaeda away? Like, I'm Al-Qaeda, you're Al-Qaeda? <laughs> or chicken soup for the terrorist soul? <laughs> it scares me. The government wants to know what you're reading. President Bush wants to know what you're reading. You know why? He's jealous. 